might end up being classed as securities. Um, I mean, first of all, there's no reason why you wouldn't know, but do you have a sense of how long it might take the SEC to come to a ruling on stuff like this? I don't know. I think that 20... I think this is a multi-year process. The reason I say that is to write a rule, get public comments, to get feedback, finalize that rule, give a period of time for, for uh, implementation, and maybe court challenge is two years at a minimum and possibly three to five years when you really see how things go. I think 2018, and I'll be speaking more about exchanges uh, later this week, but 2018 is a period of time to try to bring compliance into this sort of thousand plus tokens. On Ripple and Ether, while I think there's a strong case particularly for Ripple or XRP, given the centrality and the common enterprise around Ripple Labs, and that they're selling it every month and so forth. Um, that's really a discussion between them and the SEC. And ultimately, the way I would think is, if the SEC declares that they're securities, it might end up in court. And so it won't be the SEC, it'll be maybe the, not even a federal district court, but an appellate court that will decide, or the Supremes. Um, but let me say this, if they decide that they're not securities, I think that too probably ends up in court. And the reason is, is because somebody else will say, well, why are they getting out of regulation and I'm not? So law is best when applied consistently. And we went through the duck test and the Howey test, a little humorous, but it's also because for whichever way authorities go, they have to be, have an eye on consistency as well. Right. And so I think... Um, nine months at the least, maybe two to five years at the longest. Right. And so let's 